Hello, I'm extension entomologist Blake Layton and today I want to talk to you about the most damaging insect pest in late summer and fall vegetable gardens and that's stink bugs. These shield shaped insects get their name from their strong disagreeable odor and gardeners sometimes first detect these pests by smell rather than by sight. One reason stink bugs are so damaging is that they attack so many different garden vegetables. Peas, beans, tomatoes, peppers, sweet corn, okra and many other vegetables. Another reason these pests are so damaging is that they feed on the fruit and seed, and that's the very part of the plant we usually want to pick and eat. Stink bugs use their piercing, sucking mouth parts to inject salivary enzymes into the plant, and then they suck up that pre-digested liquid. The nature of the damage depends on the crop. Stink bug damaged peppers and tomatoes usually have irregular white or yellow blotches beneath the skin, while seed crops like peas and butter beans will have sunken, discolored areas on the seed. Now there are several different species of stink bugs that occur in our vegetable gardens, but they all cause similar damage. Brown stink bugs, green stink bugs, and southern green stink bugs are the three most common species. The nymphs, or immature stage, are shaped like the adults, but they have different markings and coloration. Here we see older nymphs of the brown stink bug, the green stink bug, and the southern green stink bug. One thing that makes stink bug identification a bit challenging is that the nymphs change their appearance drastically as they grow. Here we see three different ages of southern green stink bug nymphs. Newly hatched nymphs that are still clustered on the egg mass, half grown nymphs which are sometimes mistaken for lady beetles, and an older nymph that is ready to molt into the adult stage. It is important to be able to recognize the nymphs because I've known gardeners that delayed spraying because they thought they had a lot of lady beetles in their garden when what they actually had was a huge population of stink bug nymphs. Now stink bugs have a gradual life cycle and that means there's no pupa or cocoon or resting stage and the nymphs cause the same type of damage as the adults. The only practical way to control stink bugs in the vegetable garden is to spray them with an effective insecticide. And we just don't have any really good organic insecticides for stink bug control, but we do have a group of synthetic insecticides called the pyrethroids that do work quite well. These are sold under a lot of different brand names, so I'm going to list them by active ingredient. Bifenthrin, permethrin, cyfluthrin, and lambda cyhalothrin are all pyrethroid insecticides, and any of these products will give good control of stink bugs as long as you do your part with proper timing and good spray coverage. Those old garden standbys Malathion and Carboreal, which is also known as Seven, will also control stink bugs, but the pyrethroids are more effective. Before buying any kind of pesticide to spray on an edible crop, there are two important points you need to check on the label. First, you want to be sure the product you're buying is approved for use on the crop or crops that you plan to treat. And this is important because there are very few insecticides that can be used on every vegetable crop in the garden. Next, you need to check the pre-harvest interval, or PHI, which is how long you need to wait between the time you spray the crop and the time you can harvest that crop. PHIs can vary considerably among different insecticides. In fact, if you check the PHI for tomatoes for the insecticides we just mentioned, you'll find they range from one day to five days. Pre-harvest intervals also vary greatly for different crops, even for the same insecticide. For example, the PHI for bifenthrin is only one day on tomatoes, but it's three days on peas and beans, and it's seven days on peppers and eggplant. Don't let these details about checking insecticide labels and pre-harvest intervals discourage you from treating for stink bugs when you need to. It's definitely worthwhile to control stink bugs in the vegetable garden. In fact, if you don't do a good job keeping these pests under control, you could end up with crops that are so badly damaged that they're just not worth picking. You can find more information on stink bugs and how to control them in Extension Publication 2347, that's Insect Pest of the Home Vegetable Garden, and you can get a copy of this publication at your local county extension office, or you can find it online by going to msucares.com, clicking on Publications and searching for that title. Well, that's all for this edition of Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Extension Entomologist Blake Layton reminding you to keep your eyes and nose alert for stink bugs in your vegetable garden this season.